morning, Cross Point. Vince Stifler here, and it is Wednesday of Passion Week. And as I was thinking about this day, I was thinking about the story of Jesus when he is in Bethany, the home of Simon the leper. And um, you had this situation where Mary, the sister of Martha, anoints Jesus' head with this very expensive ointment called spikenard. Now, we know from John's Gospel that Judas thought that this ointment should have been sold and the money given to the poor, right? But, of course, we know Judas's intentions were one of greed. Um, Jesus saw it differently. He saw this action by Mary as a sacrificial act of worship. Uh, the Gospel of Mark 14, uh, verse 9, tells us, Jesus says, Truly I say to you, wherever the Gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Think about that. What she has done will be told in memory of her. Now, Wednesday of Passion Week has been called by some as Spy Wednesday. The religious authorities, the high priest, the additional authorities were plotting against Jesus at this time. We know from Matthew 26, 14 through 16, the Bible says, Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he sought an opportunity to betray him. Now Judas would betray Jesus for what Exodus chapter 21, verse 32 says, amounts to the price of of a slave. So here in, in these two pieces of Passion Week, uh, Mary and Judas, you have an act of worship by Mary and you have an act of betrayal by Judas, right? You have one act of good, one act of evil. Now we know that Jesus was traveling down this very lonely road. Not only did Judas betray him, but his disciples would also deny him. John 15, 13 says, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lays down his life for his friends. How will you be remembered? Will you be remembered as a worshiper of Christ or as a betrayer of Jesus? The Lord be with you this morning and with your entire Passion Week. We love you, church.